Hi everyone, Mr. Bartolan Super Ted here, and today's phonics lesson has a fancy dress theme. So what I want you to do is to find your best fancy dress, get ready for some amazing phonics. See you soon. Welcome back everyone. We're going to see how amazing and super you are at practicing your phase two sounds. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to choose my car, which is going to be, oh, I think I'm going to go blue. And the design I'm going to have is going to be, oh, okay, that one. And I think my racetrack is going to be the winter racetrack. Are we ready? Let's go. But. Mm. We're going to stop there. Grown ups, just to let you know that Phonics Play is free at the moment during lockdown. So if you'd like to have a go at any other time, please feel free to do so. Okay, now for our next activity, we're going to carry on with what we've been doing for the rest of this week. And this is our missing phoneme game. We're going to see if we can work out what sound is hiding behind the snowflake. So it's a picture of a bell. And again, I'd like you to try and write these down for me if you can, please. So go and find a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and write the beginning of the word bell. So the first sound is B, then E. And I wonder if you can tell your grown up what the last sound is in bell. B, E, O. Well done, everyone. Now it's quite a tricky one because it comes at the end of a word, you have to put in two letters, two ulls. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And it should look just like that. Now, again, just like yesterday, I want to see if you can pop in your sound buttons for me. B, E, eh, ull. Okay, now because it's got two letters in that sound, we do a long dash instead of two dots. And there we go, B, E, O, Bell. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now it's a picture of a sock. So again, let's write down the first two sounds that we know. We have S, R, and the last sound is S, R, K. Okay, now I wonder if you can work out what that looks like at the end of the word. Okay. I'm going to write it down. I wonder if you can write it down too. And let's put in our sound buttons. S, R, K. Let's have a look. There we go. S, R, K because it becomes at the end of the word you have to use the ck k sound okay now there's going to be one more to do and let's have a look at what the picture is going to be okay so it's a picture of a bus now again let's write down the first two sounds that we already know b uh and i wonder if you can work out what the last sound is B, uh, s, bus. Okay. Now, after three, I want you to hold up your boards for me. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. That is the word bus. Okay. I'm just going to add in my sound button so I know what sounds are in the word bus. Just like that. Well done, everyone. 
Okay, we're going to finish off our phonics lesson with a guessing game. I'm going to write a sentence about a superhero, and I want to see if you can work out what superhero I am writing about. Are we ready? So my first word is I, tricky word I. Okay, my next word is am. A, uh, m, mm, for am. And my last word is big. B, i, g. Okay, now I would like you to pause the video, try and read the sentence all on your own. And then once you think you might know, tell your grown up who you think the superhero can be. That's right, our superhero today is Hulk, because Hulk is really big and strong. Our sentence was, I am big. Okay, time for another one. Now this time, I'm not going to say anything and I want to see if you can work out or read the sentence as we go along. So this time, this is what my sentence is going to look like, and I wonder if you can work it out as I write it. Okay, there's my sentence. I want you to pause the video, chat to your grown up and see if you can work out what the sentence is and see if you can think of a superhero that matches that sentence. Off you go. Okay, I wonder if you were thinking of this superhero. It is Iron Man. Iron Man is red. So our sentence is I am red okay we're going to do one more so i'm going to get rid of that writing and my sentence this time is going to look like this i wonder if you can tell your grown-up what tricky word this is and i wonder if you can work out what this word is. This is a tricky word, so we can't use our phonics for this word. We just have to know what this word is. So have a go. And my last word, you can use your phonics for. So have a go at trying to segment and blend this word. Okay. Now again, try and read that all on your own and tell your grown up what superhero you think it might be. Okay, oh, I think this is quite an easy one. Let's see what superhero it is today. It is, that's right, it is Spider-Man because Spider-Man can shoot webs from his hands. Okay, now that's the last of our sentence. And now I'm gonna talk about our daily task for today. So what I'd like you to do for me is have a go at writing a sentence about this superhero. This superhero is, that's right, you've guessed it, it's Batman. So I wonder if you can write a sentence about Batman on a piece of paper using a pen or pencil and then ask your grown-up to take a picture of you writing your sentence and upload it to Tapestry. I would love to see all of your fancy dress costumes as well. Good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.